Hello architects, welcome to my channel where learning art is fun. I'm Sarah and in today's video, being that it's now officially springtime, I wanted to show you how I draw out this little lamb using just a pencil, a piece of paper and an eraser. So let's jump straight in and the first thing I'm going to do is to draw a rough outline of a circle, making sure that I've got room in the rest of my paper to draw the body and the rest of the lamb. So then I'm going to draw a horizontal line cutting the circle in half one way and a vertical line cutting it in half the other way and this will help us mark in certain areas of the lamb's face for later on. And I'm just drawing two little oval shapes for the lamb's ears and I'm doing them about the same width as the lamb's face. Now I'm not going to use any rulers or anything like that, so if you see me using my pencil as a guide, that's just a rough guess as to how long or wide I need to draw things. So the next thing I thought I'd do to make this simpler is to draw a rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle along that horizontal line about three times the width of the lamb's head. And for the height of the rectangle, I'm going to do it about two and a half times the width of the lamb's head. And then from one side of the lamb's face to the corner of the rectangle, I'm just going to make a triangle shape, as you can see here. Now for the main body of the lamb, I'm going to draw an oval shape and it's kind of going to fit in this rectangle shape and the triangle shape, but it's going to go slightly over the top of the rectangle for the lamb's back. I just go around a few times lightly practicing where my line's going to go before I put my pencil on the paper. And once I'm happy with where the placement of my oval is, I can mark it in a bit darker with my pencil. So to draw the lamb's legs, they can be a little bit tricky, so I thought I would create another rectangle the same width as the last one, but slightly shorter in height. So it's only about twice as high as the lamb's head. And in this rectangle is where I'm going to draw the lamb's legs. And to start with, I'm just using the edge of that rectangle to create a smaller rectangle for the front of the lamb's leg. I'm going to leave a little gap about the same width as that front leg before I do the second front leg. And because these angles can be a little bit awkward, if it's easier, you can always pause the video if you're trying to draw this at home until you've caught up. So these front, front legs are both the same length. The back legs are gonna be slightly shorter because they're further away. Creating rectangles like this is also quite helpful because if you've got a reference picture that you're working from, you can also use the negative space around the legs. And I've mentioned that in videos in the past, so as well as looking at the legs themselves or the shapes themselves, you can also use that space around the legs and you can use this to make sure you're putting everything in the right place in the right proportion. So for the back leg nearest to us of the lamb, I am just going to be doing a little triangle again. 
as you can see I'm drawing here, so just extending the top of that second rectangle and creating another triangle like I did at the front of the lamb. And it's going to be parallel. So I'm just using my pencil to draw a line on a diagonal parallel with the triangle we drew to start with. And this isn't the width of the back leg because you might be thinking that's too thick or too wide. It's just going to act as a guide so we make sure we get it in the right place at the right angle. And you can see I'm making sure that both back legs are the same length. So now we've got the main shape and body of our lamb, it's time to fill in a few more details and finish off, to start with, the lamb's head. So from either side of the circle, I'm just going to do a line down and a diagonal, sort of curved line to join up in the centre, and that kind of finishes off a nice lamb's head shape. And we can place the eyes on that horizontal line quite far or near to the side of his head. And we can use the bottom of that circle we made in the first place to place the lamb's nose. And I just draw that by doing a little V shape. Because the lamb's face is 3D, I'm just going to draw a smaller circle around that whole area to create that sort of muzzle area for his face. And I can use that central line to mark in where his mouth is. And that's kind of much like a straight line. And the width of it just kind of goes as far as the eyes on either side. And then from the eyes, we can just draw a light pencil line to sketch in his sort of nose area. And this will help us when we're colouring it in. So the last thing that's left to do is to put in a few more details. Now we're happy with the shape and position of all the parts of the lamp. It's also a good chance to round off any harsh edges and just tidy up our drawing. And I also added a little sh more shape to his chest area as you can see there before I then went and rounded off some of those curves and edges and kind of finished off the drawing. When we get to the leg area as you'll see as well I mark in a few of the joints that make up the lamb's legs to make them look a little bit more realistic. Because lamb's legs aren't just rectangles, they kind of have joints rather like we have wrists and elbows. And that's the same, same for all four-legged animals really, so it's just a case of observing what you see from your reference picture or from your photograph and making sure you put those in. And so we're nearly there and at this stage you can either keep it as it is with a pencil sketch and rub out those guidelines that we use to mark everything in or you can use a fine outliner of your choice just to mark over and finish off the drawing before rubbing out the sketch. And if you want to see how I colour my sketch in then do remember to give this video a thumbs up comment and subscribe to my channel because I will be colouring this little lamb in on Friday's video 
and I might try something a bit different so I might not do the traditional realistic looking lamb I might try and make him a bit more jazzy and try something new so if you've got any suggestions then don't forget you can always drop them in the comments box below but do join me then to see how he turns out I hope you've enjoyed this video as I said don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all on Friday and there he is all done thank you for watching see you soon bye